hello guys and welcome back so from this video onwards we will start working on our zombie first person game so for that first of all open up your unity hub because we will be creating a new project for it okay so right here we will click on this new project okay and in the all templates we will select this 3d urp okay then right here we will first of all select the directory for our game in my case i have selected this folder which is unity projects r in short form unity project recording okay and let's name this project as zombie fps okay you can name this whatever you want and you can store it inside your own directory okay then simply click on create project and now in some minutes our project will be ready and up running so now as you can see our project is ready and open up in unity so what we will do now is we will add our environment so as you know that in this games we have two maps okay two different maps the first one is this one which is a free asset on the unity asset store which is by the name of all seaport this is the developer name okay so you can just go ahead and add this to your asset or if you want you can use some different environment as well so if you want to use this then right here click on this open in unity button then click on open unity editor i have already downloaded this environment so what i will do i will just simply click on import and it will open up this window in which we have all of the textures materials and fpx files let's click on import again and now in a minute it will be imported inside our project so as you can see it is imported let's click on old c port this is it let's click on scene and let's double click on this dog thing okay let's me let change to this uh, scene view so that we can see our environment right here everything is pink so what we need to do is we need to change these materials okay so what i will do inside the old support we have this materials folder select all of them and click on edit then rendering materials and click on this button then click proceed and as you can see it is now converted okay everything is looking good right here but the these two are not converted i don't know why let's check if there are any other materials in here okay that materials were already converted if we click on this water now let's convert this one as well so we will do the same thing for this one as you can see it says that there is no upgrader to convert okay so it means we can't convert this water okay i am sure there will be more ways to convert this but what i will do is i will add some other material to this okay and that materials will be our dirt so you can add the dirt material like this to all of these planes as you can see okay okay so once you add this dirt material now as you can see it is looking good okay and you can even just duplicate these planes and extend the environment okay so what i will do right here is i will extend this area a little bit so that we have a bit more space so that the zombies can walk on it okay so what i will do first of all i will extend this 
Okay, so I will select both of these and then the other two as well and duplicate them and let's move them right here. Okay, you can zoom in to check it more accurately like this. Okay, click Ctrl Z to select them again and let's move them a little bit inside. I think it looks good like this okay then you can select this again these two duplicate them and move them right here okay now after this I will select these two I will duplicate them and let's put it right there okay as you can see it looks good but we need to move it a little bit inside then let's select these four duplicate them move them right here then duplicate them again move them right there then again okay you can extend your map like this okay and if you have some other environment then you can use that one as well if you want okay so once you do this now after this what I want you to do is let's delete the trailer camera and let's select all of them and click on this create empty parent okay and this will be now our environment Okay, now after this, what we will do is we will add our second map. Okay, but before adding that, let me tell you guys if you want to use the water effect right here, you can also do that. Just simply on the Unity Asset Store, search for this simple water shader URP. Okay, add this to your asset, then click on Open in Unity then open unity editor and right here download it then click on import and let's import this and once you do that it will be right here inside this folder okay click on the prefab so there are these two prefab the first one is this one this is a reflection so we actually don't want that we want this water particle right here let me uh, reset the transform of it okay there it is okay so this is the water effect as you can see so you can just set this plane in your whole environment okay you can just duplicate it and move it right here for example and then in this way you can add this water particle effect okay so what I will do is for now I will skip this because we need to add our other map as well okay I've shown you how you can add these water particles so you can add this by your own now and the next thing which we will be doing is to add the second environment so the second map is this one which is by the name of CBU apocalypse edition okay you can search for cbu apocalypse and you will find this asset okay and this is basically a paid asset so if you want you can use this so now i will just simply import that cbu apocalypse inside my project okay and let me tell you guys that i will be providing the winner file or you can say the unity package for the assets which i am using inside my project since many of you guys were commenting that these assets are no more available on the asset store okay in our previous projects you guys told me that so i will be providing the whole project files okay and when we will be having scripts inside our game as well so i will be providing that as well okay so don't worry about that you can check the downloadables of this project okay so as you know that we have added our 
C, uh, C, what it's called CPU or you can say City Builder Urban. Okay, right here. So, as you know that we have these three Unity packages, so we will be using this APO URP since our pipeline is Universal Render Pipeline. Okay, so I will simply double click on this. Okay, so once it is imported, as you can see, we will be having now this folder which is URP APO. If you double click on it, then go inside the scenes. Let's click on City Builder. Okay, and now as you can see, it is opening this scene. So let's wait for it. And as you can see, the scene is open right here. Okay, so this is the scene. Okay, so once we have this right here, now what we will be doing is we will actually delete that from here and then what we will do, we will search for any cameras inside this environment so if i search for cam here you will find these three cam objects okay the third one is this main camera so what i will do i will simply delete it okay since we will be creating our own camera okay so once you do that now let's select all of these things let's unselect the first one by pressing the control and then click in it okay then what I will do, I will click on this create empty parent and let's name this as environment and once you do that, you will be good to go. Okay, so now both of our environment are set up. Okay, and let's end this video right here.